Hello everybody and welcome back again to Let's Play Cyberpunk 2077 where we have arrived in what appears to be our apartment here in Night City and you know what, all things considered, this isn't really all that bad. It looks better from the inside than the outside and it's actually pretty large. You know, when I was a student, I lived in a place that was maybe like half the size of this room. So, this isn't bad at all. But yeah, um, I guess I will look around this place a little bit before I continue with um, my quest, which is basically to check my weapon stash and then go to bed. But I want to check out um, everything else in this apartment as well. Also, before I do that, um, let me go to my character menu because I did get like an attribute point and a perk point, which I can spend. So maybe that's what I want to do. Um, now at the moment I don't really know in which direction I want to take my character, so maybe I will just try to have a balanced character before I decide if I want to specialize in a certain way. And apparently I can reset attributes, so if I don't like um, my, my build I can probably just, you know, start over again from the looks of it. So yeah, let's just have a look at it. Um, okay, so I have to unlock the higher skills first by starting with the lower ones and I guess by leveling up that uh, specific skill. Painkiller unlocks low health region in combat. I mean, this seems to be pretty fundamental. Fury road in vehicle collisions, plus one damage to enemy vehicles, blah blah blah. Okay, this is for... Um, cars. Um, this is more vehicle stuff. Unlocks supreme new ways to exit vehicles. Jump out, slide out. Slippery. The faster you move, the more difficult for enemies to shoot you. <laughs> so basically I just run around and they can't hit me. Interesting. 5% uh, instant recharge of health items and grenades after neutralizing an enemy. And even more stuff for vehicles. Is there going to be a lot of vehicle based combat in this game? Um, eye in the sky automatically highlight nearby access points and cameras. When uploaded through cameras, control quick hits, covert quick hits, and the district enemy quick hits have minus one RAM cost, 50% duration. 35% RAM recovery rate. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Even more vehicle stuff. Maybe I'm just going to start with like the basic one here. I mean, you can't go wrong with some health region in combat, right? So let's pick this one. Um, okay, that's the perk and the attribute point. Um, hold to acquire. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe let's start by leveling up the lower ones here. Maybe more technical ability. I don't know. Okay, there we go. Leveled up. And yeah, now let's look around this place a little bit. Um, I do have like a computer over here, so maybe I will start with that. What do we got here? Milkshake, coffee. I guess I'll take it and whiskey. Um, I mean, <laughs> this does give me like uh, perks, but bad ones. Minus 10% movement speed and minus 50% accuracy. Okay, but yeah, let's have a look at the computer. Alright, I do have messages. Let's have a look. Oh dear, this looks a lot like spam mail as well, all of it. Mega Medicine Lottery. Attention Mega Medicine Lottery. This is the same that I've seen before, right? On the uh, technician's computer in the garage. Yeah, it's the same. I have read this before. This one seems to be new. Penis Nanogel Scam Alert. Warning Scam Alert. Do not click on any emails with ads for penis enlargement nanogel. This is a scam. Ordinary gels cannot stimulate new cell growth. The only tested and proven method for penis enhancement 
is still the Aerosex hormone treatment. <laughs> Our scientists at Aerosex have developed a formula that will dramatically increase the length and girth of your penis in only seven days. Join the thousands of other satisfied customers and order your kit today. I didn't believe it would work, but I was desperate. I only had a week to get my penis back. And I knew Mr. Stud wouldn't cut it. Fortunately, Aerosex did the trick and I've still got the nail marks on my back to prove it. Thanks, Aerosex. Richard Towers, real customer. Verified penis growth. Order now while supplies last. What, are you telling me there's not like some kind of cyber implant to solve this kind of issue? Do you really have to resort to hormone treatments for this? I mean, come on. You can apparently replace almost everything in your uh, body, like the hand and, and the, the, the legs. And, you know, I've seen the cyberware tap. You can almost <laughs> augment everything in your body, but not this. I don't believe it. But yeah, luckily, I don't have to worry about this kind of stuff. Alert, you've been attacked. Warning, malware detected. Okay, um, that's the same again. Yeah, I've seen this one already. So again, they just sent this out to everyone. Order fixer, vehicles buying on the order fixer net page. You'll find all vehicles currently up for sale. You can access this net page from the computer in your apartment or from other computers throughout Night City marked with a car icon. A vehicle's picture may display an icon to indicate that it comes equipped with a built-in weapon <laughs> for a machine gun for a missile launcher. Okay, so I guess there will be like vehicle-based combat if you can get vehicles that have a missile launcher um, equipped. <laughs> As your street cred grows, so will the number of vehicles available to you on Autofixer. Okay. Autofixer from El Capitan to encrypted. What up, valued chum and customer? Lemme still driving that old set wheels and board out of your gourd? El Capitan got you covered. Check out my new net page autofixer, pretty slick name if you ask me, to find your new ride today. Just click pay and boom. Night City streets are all yours. You demand El Capitan supplies. Simple as that. What are you waiting for? Visit autofixer now and buy, buy, buy. Yeah, I don't think I have the kind of money to actually do this. Yeah, okay, this is like the net page and there's the autofixer. I may want to have a quick look at the other pages as well. Maybe not read all of it because, you know, I want to get some actual stuff done today. <laughs> okay, these are like music charts, I guess. Well, I can't actually listen to them though. Just like read a description. Okay. In that case, never mind. What do we got here? Dark Star, electronic music from Earth orbit. For anyone who wants to write high, Dark Star is a galactic tuning fork pitched to the sounds of the universe. We're a radio orbital station made up of ground cider outlaws and interstellar nomads. We are not ruled by gravity. We are free. We live in harmony. We share our music because music recognizes no boundaries and neither do we. Deafening silence, not in outer space. Here, gusts of solar wind softly hum, dust particles collide and echo the rings around planets per. The cosmic symphony you can't hear. <laughs> Is this a typo? But we have something better. Tune in to Dark Star and discover the best bangers in the cosmos. Okay, so it's a radio station that's transmitting from orbit. Is it like a pirate radio station that doesn't have license? <laughs> I don't know. And yeah, there's like more stuff I can look at, but um, maybe I will check this out later. Apparently the guy who's running this is promoting his own songs as well, Mr. Kipper. <laughs> um, what do we got here? Mayor office. Lucius Ryan, Mayor of Night City. 
Lus Lucius Ryan was born on October the 12th in 2017 in a trauma team clinic in Night City. His father worked at Arasaka while his mother was a net watch officer. His childhood was eclipsed by the Fourth Corporate War and its tragic effects. His father was killed in the Arasaka headquarters bombing of 2023. Yeah, the atomic bomb, right? We've heard about that. <laughs> Growing up in the shadow of immeasurable devastation, Ryan made a lifelong commitment to fight for peace and order. Only a few years later, cruel fate struck again. Ryan's mother was captured by one of Bart Moss Rogue AI while on a mission in cyberspace. In spite of the financial hardship of providing care for his mother's body, Ryan enrolled at the Richard Knight University and graduated in cybernetic law. He embarked on a professional career for 20 years before he became a member of the Night City Council. Ryan's greatest achievements include passing resolutions on neurocognitive implants as well as defending Night City from the NUSA siege during the Metal Wars. Thanks to his judgment and strength of character, Arasaka was able to return to Night City after more than four decades of absence, after which Militech forces retreated from the Coronado Bay and the metropolis retained its independence. Shortly thereafter, Lucius Ryan was elected as a mayor of Night City and holds the position until today. Okay, interesting. Okay, I can read more stuff here. <laughs> Freedom from homelessness. Mayor Ryan has declared a war on homelessness. As long as I'm here, there will be zero tolerance for the spoiling of Night City's natural beauty. <laughs> These bottom feeders eat from unmarked cans, increasing the risk of diseases. I will not allow our children to enter harm's way just because. Read more. This sounds more like it's um, a war on homeless people than homelessness. Uh, I guess that should be expected. Trauma team. Premium package. Okay, I can't. Oh, do I actually have a login for this? No. Apparently not. I don't have trauma team services uh, from the looks of it. Asbestos found in Militech implants? <laughs> really? That's still a thing? Maxtech is on a roll. Highway extension cancelled. A theatrical cesspool. Massacre in Japantown. All right, well, there's even more news. Yeah, maybe I will every once in a while uh, check out uh, the net page to read some of this stuff. Um, but not all at once. Latest Arasaka death. Another shootout in Watson. I play the seagull. Feature interview. Watch out for acid rain. That's still a thing. Nomads in Night City. Oh, I want to read this one, though, if I can. Oh, it's behind a paywall. Of course it is. <laughs> but at least I can read the teaser, probably. Beware, nomads have been spotted in Night City. The NCPD advises not to approach them or engage unless absolutely necessary. We remind you that nomads are responsible for 85% of highway assaults. Their criminal activities have already led to... But I will never know how this will continue. Night Corp, Richard Knight's Legacy, the foundation stone of Night City, its silent watchful guardian. Samurai fan page. Hear my call. I'm chipping in. Total war. I'm chipping in. Casings fall. I'm chipping in. Kill them all. Welcome to my Samurai net page. If you know, you know. If you don't, then you don't know fuck all. Silver hand for life. Karim012. The greatest band of all time was formed at the start of the 21st century in Night City. Its members included Johnny Silverhand, the Lord of Punk, anti-establishment warrior, ex-soldier and arch nemesis of corporations, vocals guitar. Carrie Eurodyne, a pal of Johnny who sang almost just as good, but without the extra edge. He went mainstream after the band sped up, <laughs> vocals guitar. Danny, a tough as nails chick who beat the shit out of those drums. Drums. Nancy, currently known as Bess Isis, 
A virtuoso on the keys, apparently she threw her abusive husband out of a mega block window. <laughs> Too bad she sold out to N4445 News keyboard. Henry, a do-it-all with kit, worked on the first personal link prototype. The samurai started out by playing in a small smoke-filled club called the Rainbow Cadenza. I'll never forget the vibe. Dust-ups with corpos, drinking contest with Nance, listening to Johnny, Johnny's hour-long tirades. Not to mention his sense of humor. One time he printed shirts for a 2020 worldwide concert tour. It's funny because Samurai couldn't even get an arena gig in the States. He picked some really random places. Beijing, Sapporo, Katowice. Happened to have one of the shirts myself. Too bad no one got the joke. Real Rock with a capital R died the way of Silverhand with a flash and tower crumbling bang. We are still here listening to your song, Johnny, and we remember there's nothing left for us. <laughs> I mean, this is a very bare bones fan page. It's almost like some early um, GeoCities page. <laughs> and yeah, then there's like the order fixer. Muammar El Capitan Reyes, welcome. Welcome to Muammar El Capitan Ray's order fixer net page. By today. Huge selection. New vehicles added regularly. Use cars for every budget. <laughs> Probably not for my budget though. All brands, domestic and foreign, second hand and more. Set order fixer is your home page. <laughs> Check it often for new offers. Okay, here we go. There's the cars. Um and I don't even have enough street cred to get any of these. Let alone the money, probably. <laughs> and I mean, these breads are all made up. <laughs> There's no real world brand in here, as far as I can tell. I mean, you can kind of guess that maybe some of them are modeled after real life brands. We got some clearly Japanese sounding names here. Yeah, but I mean, at the moment, I can't afford any of this. Maybe a bike. No, I don't even have enough credits for a bike. Okay, in that case, never mind. So I will maybe come back to, you know, this net page and read some of the other stuff. But for now, I think this should be enough. Um, yeah, we have something over here that I wanted to look at. Open wardrobe. Okay. Wardrobe. You can have up to six outfits saved in your wardrobe. These can be activated and deactivated in the outfit section of your inventory at any time. Activating a wardrobe outfit will change the appearance of the clothing you have equipped, but will not change its stats. All clothing you find, receive, craft, disassemble by or sell will be saved in your wardrobes menu. Okay. I mean, at the moment I don't really have that much stuff. I mean, I have some, apparently. Um, but I'm not sure if I want to mess with it at the moment. I will have a look at that later. Hang on a second, there's something else here. Euro dollars. Okay, I will take that. Put down? Put down what? What did I just do? I don't know. Um, yes, we already looked at the mirror. Oh, this is the toilet. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of the toilet that is only separate from the main room via like a curtain, but okay. And a shower. Sure, let's take a shower. Well, I mean, it's a shower, all right. <laughs> Again, it's kind of open to the rest of the room. <laughs> I guess as long as you're living alone, this doesn't really matter so much. So what do we got here? More stuff I can pick up. Vodka. <laughs> a Bolshevik. New release brain dances. What's up, BD Maniacs? Hungry for a new emo rush? 
then check out the latest word from the freshest BDs on the market. Foreign body. The body is everything. There is nothing else. It is you, but it's also just a tool for your mind to interact with the world. But what would happen if this tool tried to live its own life? What if it tried to kill you? <laughs> Throughout not a particularly original addition to the thriller genre, this brain dance featuring Luke Poller is still a solid experimental ride. The fear of disobedient implants has been around since pirates were walking around on peg legs. Well, maybe not that long. As a result, the trope has been pervasive in film, brain dance and urban legend alike. Still, Foreign Body borrows from some of the genre's best elements while still incorporating just enough new stuff to the mix to keep it interesting. After all, it's not every day you see the world from the perspective of a sentient arm. <laughs> I think I'll pass on that one. Maxwell's Rehab. This brain dance season has been chock full of horror, but this one stands out from the rest. The always phenomenal Maxwell Ramirez is pushed to the brink of cyberpsychosis so we can relive his return to normalcy. <laughs> The title offers a tone of optimism, but don't let that fool you. You will relive Maxwell's slip into psychosis, the heartbreak of his wife, and the gradual reintegration into a world that is now far different from how he left it. This BD is a must relive of the season, but it's not for the faint of heart. Badlands Raid At last, the BD for, those for something a little lighter. Badlands Raid is a remake of the 2023 classic, which was innovative, which was an innovative tour de force of the time. For those of you unfamiliar, the plot resolves around an ordinary boring guy who accidentally gets tangled up in a nomad ambush on a Zeta Tech convoy. I won't spoil it because even though the main plot hasn't changed in 54 years, most people these days probably don't know the ending. What I will say is this. The remake creators have introduced a few modern twists into the story that should make for a pleasant surprise to classic lovers and newbies alike. Okay, are these like movies? Virtual movies? Um, yeah, I do have like a TV that I can watch apparently. Let's see. What do we got here? News. Advertising. <laughs> okay, let's switch to the next channel. Don't want to see ads. What am I watching here? This is an ad as well. Yes. <laughs> well, I don't want to watch any advertisements, so I guess I'm just going to... Uh, Continue. Now, I still need to find my weapon stash. Ooh. Oh, I actually can open the window. Well, that's much better. Look at this view. That's actually kind of nice. Yeah, this is apparently my bed. Um, now, according to my quest marker, my weapon stash is... Somewhere over here? Oh, okay, I need to open the door. There we go! <laughs> your stash is a secure system for storing equipment and can be accessed from all of your available safe houses and vehicles. For example, if you store... Don't remove these tooltips before I tell you, please. But okay, apparently this is where I <laughs> have my weapons. You know, usually this is where I would expect a kitchen to be. But this place doesn't actually have a kitchen. It's just uh, equipped with a burrito machine because um, I suppose you're not really making your own food anymore. <laughs> anyway, let's see, what do we got here? Oh, well, um, I mean, maybe I do want to take some of this stuff. What do we got here? Um, so I'll take this. Assault rifle, why not? Got a katana. I'm not sure if I want to use shotguns, but I guess I will at least, you know, try some of these weapons. And I guess I will take all of the clothing here. So maybe I want to change my outfit. 
Oh, okay, I have like different tabs here. This is all the food that I picked up. And this is just junk. All right. And yeah, that did update my quest. And I will take the ammo. Yes. Yep, there's quite a bit of space here for different kinds of weapons. Um, let me have a look at some of the stuff that I just got. Um, I mean, I think I actually may prefer the one that I'm currently using. But I have like different slots. Yes, I do have more than one slot. So maybe a bit of a bigger caliber for the second slot. Maybe the assault rifle. I don't know. So the precision rifle is... Maybe some kind of sniper rifle, I guess. In that case, I probably prefer the assault rifle. And yeah, I have my melee weapons here. Sure, let's equip Katan as well. Um, yeah, okay. So I have some weapons equipped, and we will see which I want to use. I mean, this one is um, iconic, and the little green arrow here would indicate that it's a better one, but. I'm not sure if I prefer the stats, to be honest. I mean, I guess I will try both of them at some time. And yeah, what about the outfit? I got some stuff here. Yeah, I think some of this is like her original outfit that she was wearing in the prologue. V's favorite top, Gwent t-shirt, <laughs> Galaxy t-shirt, Wolf School t-shirt. <laughs> well, look at that. She can be a witcher now. Um, I don't know, I guess I'll keep this one. And I mean, it doesn't look like the um, different pieces of clothing actually have like different stats. They do have weight though, so can't carry too much of this kind of stuff with me. Um, okay, I think everything else is fine. Let's just uh, leave the stash be for now and I guess I will go to bed as the quest tells me to since this seems to be more or less all I can do here at the moment. All right. Let's go to bed. Act one. Oh, what is that? Bad system diagnostics. Data corruption detected. This doesn't sound good. Jackie Wells in control. Oh, you get your beauty sleep? <laughs> <laughs> no matter. Time you got up. I think I might have caught something. <laughs> when I jacked into that Corpo's biomon. I know a neurovirus or... Need to see Vic. Let him tell me what's got my head reeling and my stomach churning. Okay, let me take you. I brought you a ride. Yeah, throw on some threads, meet me downstairs. Yeah, apparently I have a system malfunction. <laughs> Body count lottery. Congratulations, you picked... What? You picked the correct number in today's body count lottery. You are the lucky winner of a Quadra Sport R7 Vigilante. Don't drive it all in one place. <laughs> wow, thanks. I totally did pick a number. I can't believe I won. 
Oh, no, I didn't. I have no idea. Maybe I did pick a number. <laughs> your new Quadro Sport R7 Vigilante has been shipped to your address. Please play again. <laughs> I mean, if this is true, then surely I should be able to find this car somewhere, right? But again, this might just be a scam of some sort. Um, anyway, I got like a new quest. Let me have a look at that. Meet with Jackie. If you're on the hunt for Chrome, you won't find a better ripper than Victor. Well, at night maybe you could, but you sure as hell can't afford them, chick. <laughs> Not like Vic can afford you either, but you're lucky he's got a soft spot. Says you've, says you've got a good heart, like him. But before we pay our big a visit, we gotta decide what comes next. Okay. Okay, this is the DLC. Wait for the lockdown to end. Retrieve the pink quick hack from the Netrunner. T-Bug's probably the last person you'd expect to do presents. She's not the kind of girl who goes around buying novelty coffee mugs or t-shirts of your favorite comic book hero. But the Netrunner program for you, for the job, shit, she must really like you. She <laughs> well, I'm glad to uh, hear that. So I guess I have to collect this um, ping thingy at some point. Okay. Uh, I will do that, but maybe first let's uh, leave the apartment and um, look around a bit. Hey V, Regina Jones here. If you're looking for work in Watson, give me a call. How did you find me? How'd you even know my name? I know where to gather my intel. Could even call me a collector. Later V. Okay, well, um, I'm getting calls from all kinds of people. But yeah, now... Let's look around a little bit. There's some daylight somewhere over here, but it's very hard to see. <laughs> um, okay, well. Uh oh, what's going on here? Open up! We got a call! We know you're in yeah, I'm there! I'm sure you're here to help. When danger lurks, trauma team will be there. Crews finished them off too quick. Could have stretched it out over two more rounds at least. What for? You already know how it's gonna end. People come to see a show, not a damn execution. <laughs> True, but I mean, don't count on crews to mix things up. Pow! Only thing he understands. Yeah, let's see how far that takes him. Well, apparently this game is still a thing in 2077, so that's interesting. Anyway, um, let's maybe not get too sidetracked again, but actually do something for our quest. Okay, so I have to go through here, I guess. Yeah, I definitely have to go further down, so let's just continue to follow. Shit. Come on! The map. Oh no no no! So oh, what is this? So Need you your Jikan Egyo. Open twenty four hours. Right, no <laughs> what are you selling? Sell oh, food. Yes, some kind of yakitori and sushi. Let's, oh, we had combination. Mm, too bad it wouldn't have worked on you. Snip snip snip. No. Also, yeah, there's Still people talking. Fight. Everywhere. I won't apologize for getting rid of scum. And you know what else? Deviant thought inhibiting chips. Did anyone complain? Not sure if I want to listen to all of this, but I want to listen to some of them sometimes. What is this? How to keep your shards and data safe from pick sockets? Top three ways. Are you reading this on the street in a store? In the metro, when was the last time you checked your neural sockets? The pig socket plague is worse than it's ever been. The NCPD received hundreds of complaints in their last cycle from residents who reported having shards stolen from their neural sockets. How can you protect yourself? We've got you covered. Thefts largely go uninvestigated due to the police prior prioritization of violent crime which has left pick sockets feeling increasingly bold. Exploits used to hack 
our neuroware are widely available on the black market, so many thieves have shifted focus from our uh, pockets to our sockets. <laughs> One brief moment of inattention and your private information is flying from your neck into someone's sticky fingers. The NCPD admits tracking such thieves is difficult and a waste of resources, which is why we're here to help keep you into info, your info safe with three options to suit any budget. 1. Change your settings to ensure you receive notifications anytime a shard is removed from a new report. Unfortunately, this approach leads to a high number of false positives when you're fiddling with your own neuroware. 2. Invest in new sockets. Several new models on the market already have built-in safety and authorization measures to keep shards locked in tight. But if you're pinching every any, this solution could break the bank. 3. Duct tape. Slap on a square of that and those shards aren't going anywhere. <laughs> on a budget, bad with tech, no regard for style, then this is the option for you. Sounds good to me. Guess I'll go with the duct tape option. <laughs> anyway, let's keep going. Huh? You rise and hey, up, yo, V. <laughs> How about a round or two? Who's talking? What do you say? Is it you? How you like my new punching bag? Coach Just gave Fred. me a next gen ass whooping. He did. Be curious to see how he handles the likes of V. <laughs> so how about it? How about what? How is this going? Where'd you get him? Oh, he has a training bot. How's it going? Fight's about to start. Not gonna watch? Take notes? Malone versus Hernandez? <laughs> nah. Our chrome friend here don't watch TV. <laughs> don't talk neither. Only way he communicates is with them fists. And where did you get him? Where'd you get him, Fred? Off the street. <laughs> Saw him looking up at me with these big, sad eyes. So I took the poor pup in. Really? Fed him, clothed him. <laughs> nah, for real. He's a military okay. pup. Got a sweet deal. And a chum of mine tossed in a few upgrades. Now, here we are. And you want me to fight your military bot? Um, sure, why not? Let's do this. Light on your feet. Keep that head moving. Oh, yeah, right. Um, I kind of have to practice my melee anyway, I suppose. Yeah. I guess that was a good parry. Maybe I should just wait for the robot to attack and then parry whenever I can. Alright. Is that a health bar above your head? I think it is. So I think I'm doing pretty good. <coughs> Just a few more hits. Alright. Ever thought of monetizing it? I can arrange a fight or two. What do you mean? What do you say? Talk to the coach. Um sure, let's sit. You go in the ring yourself about these fights and what you've got on sale. Yeah, are you fighting yourself? You go in the ring yourself? Not anymore. Skull's taking too much of a beating. Reflexes ain't what they used to be. There's ways of fixing that. Karenza cops should do the trick. Rather dish out my eddies for something else. It's time I started taking it easy. <laughs> All right, tell me more about these fights. You mentioned something about fighting? Hmm. I've seen you landing blows in the ring. You've got sharp instinct, good edge. You can go far. Especially if you get chipped. Hmm. These fights, let's just say they aren't legal, but very lucrative. Lucrative for who? <laughs> you or me? Both of us. I get a small percentage of the total winnings, you know, as your agent. You get the rest. Well, I could use some money. Sounds fair. You want to get rich of my hard work. Well, I mean, arguably, yes, I will be the one doing most of the work. Oh, I get it. 
want to get rich off my blood, sweat, and tears. <laughs> hey, you gotta make a buck somehow, right? At least I'm giving it to you straight. Fights happen in different fan. parts of the city. You choose where you want to go, put down your eddies, and start swinging. You win, you take home the pot. Manage to drop every last one of them, you get a chance to fight in the grand finale. That all clear? Mm -hmm. Crystal. <laughs> Good. Oh, except you won't be setting foot outside or what? Not yet. You can start in Kabuki. I believe in you, V. Time to show this city what you're made of. All right. Well, uh, I guess I will think about it. And yeah, apparently you are selling stuff. What have you got for sale? Only top shelf gear. I'm sure. Um. Oh, okay, it's like weapons. Blunt weapon mod. Okay, so it's weapons and uh, mods for weapons. But I can't afford any of it. Of course, um, I might be able to sell you some stuff. Can I sell stuff? Yeah. Sure. I don't think I will need the machete or the hammer since I have a katana. Um, and I have two shotguns. I don't think I need both of them. So I'm just going to sell one of them. They kind of seem to have the same stats. So I'm just going to sell this one. Okay. So I can basically sell everything, including my junk, apparently. And he's not limited to just buying, you know, melee weapons or whatever. Um, I guess I will keep the rest for now. So, yeah, um, thanks for the business. Uh, let's get up. All right, um, now. Oh, and now he's sending me a message. All right, a couple of words about what you're going up against. Kabuki, <laughs> won't spoil this, just come and see. Arroyo, Buck, Sixth Street, Ganga, Real POS. Third, Glen Caesar, Fists Like Fucking Hammers. Four, Animals Club, Rena, Woman's Legend, Lays Everyone Flat. Also, why is that part of town called Kabuki? Well, Kabuki is a Japanese form of classical theater, but... Waiting for its mommy. Hers after every shot now. Again, are you talking to me? Their system says it's too low, it's too low. Yeah, I think this guy has been talking to me. Let's see it. Let's have a look. Um Okay. Apparently I'm supposed to take this gun and it's free. Well, in that case, I will absolutely take it. <laughs> um, oh yeah, this is the new one, Dying Knight. I mean, the damage is lower than my current one, but I feel that the attack speed will more than make up for it. <laughs> so, I may want to sell you the old gun because... Uh, I don't think I need two of them. I mean, there's like different types of guns. Power pistol, tech pistol. But both of them are power pistols, so I guess I can give you this one. All right. Um, I'm not sure why I deserve to get this gun, but I'm not complaining. Upgrading iconic weapons. You just acquired an iconic weapon. Iconic weapons possess unique abilities. However, they cannot be improved with weapon mods. With the appropriate components, iconic weapons can be upgraded to a higher tier, which significantly improves their power. You can do this from the Upgrades tab of the crafting menu. Iconic weapons can be found all over Night City. You might receive one from a friend or loot one of an enemy. It's also possible to find some simply lying in the ground or available for purchase at vendors. Some you might even craft yourself. All right. Thanks a lot. The gun. Okay, this actually was a task. So let's equip my new pistol. Scorch. It was the power pistol that I just got. Dying Knight. So this is the one that I will equip. 
<laughs> Alright. Also, didn't I put on a vest? Okay. I guess I didn't properly put it on. <laughs> Um, okay, I'm getting sidetracked again. Um, oh, am I supposed to use the elevator? Yes, I think I am. Several of her works over the years. Her first novel, Requiem for a Samurai, which was... Hello, it's time for your local news. The Aratama Matsuri huh? Festival is nearly upon us. To mark the event, the streets of Night City will come alive with exquisite multi-story dashi floats. The festival program will also include musical performances by Biwa Virtuosos and theatrical performances in the No tradition. Interesting. The sponsor for the festival is the Arasaka Corporation. And in an exciting development, even Hanako Arasaka has announced her participation in the Dashi Parade. From all of us at WNS News, we wish you a safe and fun Matsuri. Enjoy yourselves, Night City. After the break, Cyber psychosis, <laughs> myth or reality? Stay tuned. So there's going to be a Japanese festival, a Matsuri, at some point. I would so, like to see that. Are we going to talk about yesterday? It's all in the report. Oh, I read it. Except there's no mention of me telling you to delta the fuck out of there. Yeah, no biggie. Hmm? Not like that cyber psycho was a tank on two chrome legs. What the fuck were you thinking? There's a reason Max Tack exists, you know. Civilians were in danger. What was I supposed to do? Just watch them get mowed down? Listen, you, me, and every fucking cop in this city might as well be a civilian next to Max Tack. The day yeah, I they think we've us heard about them before. Um, okay, what do we got here? NCPD scanner hustles. The NCB NCPD will pay you to help fight crime. Gigs. Fixers will contact you when you approach a gig's location. Fixers. These intermediaries will inform you about local gigs available. Alright. So what is this over here? Sell. Oh, so I can just sell random stuff. Okay, I'm, I am think I'm good for now. I just sold some stuff. Anyway, now let's finally go and talk to Jackie. Mm. Woman of the hour. Jeez. <laughs> it took you long enough. Worked up an appetite just waiting. Yeah, I got a little bit sidetracked. I'm sorry. Sit down. Let me finish this. Then we can drop in on Senor Vector. Senor Vector? Um, so, what you eating? Didn't figure you as the type for Asian. Would have thought you'd find it too exotic. What do you mean? What's there not to like? Noodles? Check. Since sirloin? Check. Get some more chile action up in here and you're looking at Mama Well's signature sopa de fideos. <laughs> <laughs> so what exactly are we eating here? Is this Mentioned some about generic Asian stuff? Yesterday. Apparently it is. Am I remembering right or just had a brain fart? Probably both, because you usually forget shit. But it just so happens, I think I might have bagged us a sweet ass J-O-B. <laughs> Go on. I mean, maybe it's not as big as that, but just that it's fronted by a little known someone named Dexter Deshaun. Only the top fixer in night fucking city. Okay. Fat ass black Jesus of the afterlife. 300 pounds of partly gold plated cool. Okay, well, uh, I guess I'm interested. Tell me more about this Dex person. Dexter Deshaun. What's the latest spec on him? Know you got info to spill. He's been off the grid for about two years. Word on the street was he took a little vacay. Two years? That's exile, not a vacation. Hell was he up to? Uh, guessing he shoved pizzas in his mouth while mm -hmm. jerking off to hardcore virtues. Important thing is he's back. He's a fresh crew, and he found us. And how did you manage to get this? How did you manage to pull this? Trade in your spleen or something? <laughs> as far as I know, we're not the type to get fingered by Dex. You and me? Oh, but T-Bug, she's the one that hooked us up. Got us talking. 
Do it was a done deal the moment he laid eyes on me. Cause come on, ain't nobody who can resist this. Am I right? <laughs> sure, Jack. Whatever you say. All right, tell me more about this job. So what's the gig? We meant to come out in one piece? Well, our savior wants to tell you everything himself. Face to face. No pressure, but... Whole deal's riding on you now, chica. Don't see why not, wait, why me? Yes, why me exactly? Why do I gotta go? You and T-Bug draw straws without me? <laughs> T-Bug and Dex go way back, and my face is yesterday's news. Oh, Dex says he needs to check you. Talk to you. I see. Look, V, it's his job, his rules. I can't blame him for taking a personal approach. And it ain't as bad as you think, okay? Trust me. Guess I got no choice then. <laughs> Dex is a real deal when it comes to fixers. Don't get me wrong. Don't got nothing against the Padre or Wakako, but... Dex is in a league of his own. You know what I'm saying? You are a bit of a fanboy, huh? Not really know my way around fixers. Well, at this point, I hope that she has learned Hello. a bit about it. Don't get me started on fixers. They catch a client, find the cheapest gonk to do the job, then drop their corpse at a landfill. <laughs> Shit. Hit the nail on the head, V. Gracias, Dios. Estoy lleno. <laughs> Brought your wheels. Gave them to my guy yesterday to smooth over the dents after our uh, dust up with the scabs. All right, thanks. Thanks, Jack. Much appreciated. Vehicles calling. You can call your active vehicle in your current location with V. Okay. Um, I'll do that. Some top notch work Miguel did. Rides like it looks. Factory new. We'll see about that. <laughs> so we rolling or what? I guess we will be rolling. Then again, I haven't actually eaten anything yet. I suppose um, I'm not hungry. <laughs> Let's feel this factory new ride. All right. Oh, is this the car? Well, I guess it is. Anyway, um, I will maybe uh, check this out in the next episode because this one is getting long enough. And yeah, I mean, I didn't really get to do a lot in terms of my quest, I'm afraid. <laughs> As a matter of fact, um, except talking to Jackie, I didn't really accomplish anything. Well, I mean, I did get like the gun and I got a quest about, you know, fighting people. And I will uh, check out this one as soon as I have some time, because, I mean, this seems to be something that's easily done. But for the most part, I do want to continue with my main mission for, like, um, maybe the next episode, just to, you know, get some progress, and then we will, you know, explore a little bit more and maybe do some of these side missions. But yeah, I guess for now I will call it a day. So, as always, thank you for watching, and see you again next time.